The Story of Frozen Once upon a time, in a place known as Equestria, there were two princesses born. The eldest was named Luna. The youngest was named Cadence. The two girls were best friends at their birth. Not only were they best friends, but they were sisters. This made things twice as good for their parents. However, this happiness only lasted for several weeks. And then, one fateful night, while the girls were sound asleep, an intruder came into the castle. She did not want any of the riches that the ponies had. Instead, she was an evil witch who only wanted her soul to be transferred into, well, a more suitable subject. However, it wasn't her soul. It was the darkness in her soul that she needed to transfer. She would turn into a beautiful young maiden if she had done this. And so... It happened. She became a beautiful fair maiden. And she slipped away within the night. But no pony was aware of what had happened until several days later. Come on, come on, do the magic, do the magic! Okay, get ready. The two girls thought it was such a miracle that she had this amazing gift. Her parents, as in their parents, were not exactly pleased with what was going on. The queen was worried that something bad would happen one day with her powers. And one day, it truly happened. Cadence! <gasps> Cadence! Cadence! The two girls once coincided with each other in the same room, but after the incident, Luna was moved to a different room. Every moment she, being Cadence, could remember, it was all in just good fun outside. Never in. Never in the middle of the darkness. Never in the middle of the day. The girls grew up, but Luna was never in the picture. Cadence was upset. She truly was. And she was done with this. So one day, she dared to knock on Luna's door. So Cadence marched up to the door and knocked. Luna, please, I know you're in there. People are asking where you've been. They say of courage, and I'm trying to. I'm right out here for you. Just let me in. We only have each other. Just you and me. What are we gonna do? <gasps> do you wanna see the moon rise? Do Go away, Cadence. Okay. Goodbye. And she was unsuccessful. Finally, it was time for Cadence's sister, 
to get coronated, and it was finally time to open up the gates. I can't wait to meet anyone. Everyone? What if I meet the one? Ah. Cadence had always been a little, well, naive. She never really knew what was exactly out there. Never really learned. She had always been kept inside by her parents, fearing she might have not forgotten everything. But she didn't know so. So, honest. So, while Cadence ran about singing, Luna was very busy getting ready, but more trying to not think about her revealing to everyone her dark secret. What am I going to do? If anyone finds out, I'm doomed. Oh, what am I going to do? What will I do? Luna thought and thought, but she knew if she kept thinking, she would never, ever get ready. So she shrugged and decided to go get ready. At the ceremony, she held the Elements of Harmony crown to signal that there would be peace throughout the land. This bondage would not exactly last very long. And with that, she was named Queen Luna of Equestria. Every pony was very excited, and they knew what would happen after the ceremony. A great party. Cadence had fallen in love that night. She introduced her new quote-unquote, fiancé. She asked for her sister's blessing in marriage. However, Luna refused. You can't marry someone you just met. You can if it's true love. What am I going to do with you? Luna walked off, but Cadence was not very far behind. Please, Luna, please. I said no. You can't marry someone you just met. You can if it's true love. No, give me back my shoe. Give me back my horseshoe. No. Please, please. Enough, Cadence. No, why do you live like this? Why do you want to shut the world out? Why, why? I said enough! <gasps> Luna! No! Queen Luna! Queen Luna! Did you change your outfit or something? Queen Luna! Queen Luna! So, things didn't last very long. The transformation to Nightmare Moon was horrifying to watch. For many people, Luna, Luna!
Hayden's couldn't help but think it was all of her fault. So, she ventured off to the great beyond, leaving Sir Shining in charge. Luna was then happy and satisfied. However, she changed her name. She did not want to be called Luna anymore, for it would bring back the painful memories of the past. It just wouldn't last very long. Luna! Luna is gone. I am Nightmare Moon. All right, whatever. Nightmare Moon, listen. You belong down in Equestria with me, in Canterlot. You are the queen. I am not the queen of the day. Celestia may have, but I am not. You must take her place as the ruler of Equestria. I am free here. I will rule the night forever. Here. Luna, you don't understand. Oh, I mean Nightmare Moon. You just don't understand. All of Equestria is shrouded in eternal darkness. You need to let me raise the sun. I, I can't. I, I thought I just, I. Please, Luna, it's, I'm sorry, just, just go. But, Luna, wait! Go. Now. You're not frightening me! Please, just... Dispose of her. Yes, my queen. And with that, Luna was protected. For now. She would not be protected in future events. The Story of Frozen My Little Pony Edition Hey, if you guys like this video, go ahead, click that like button. And, hey, if you are a newbie to this channel, go ahead, click on that button down there that says my name, Cherry Bear Chiller. And if you do, then you can see all my other videos. Y'all, just go watch them. And if you guys like my other videos, go ahead, click that subscribe button. I dare you. No. I double dare you. I triple dog dare you. I quadruple dog dare you. You have to do it. Quadruple dog dares are really sacred. You have to do it. See you on the flip side. Bye.